Hi, welcome back to the garden. And this is take two because my new phone is recording. About to lose my hat. Uh, my new phone by default records with a H.265 codec instead of the H.264 that most of the world has been using for the last decade. And apparently I can't edit or even play back uh, H.265 recorded videos on my computer because Microsoft only very briefly included an H.265 codec um, with Windows 11 and right now they you, they want to sell you the codec for 99 cents and you have to have a Microsoft account and I don't trust Microsoft using their third party credentials to log into my local machine. Eventually they're going to force me to use the Linux. I ain't yeah, I'm a software guy in case it wasn't obvious. Okay, so I've been doing some work over there on the water capture system. As you can see, cut off. So I can't point in front of the camera. Um, I cut off the downspout. The idea is that previously had a downspout that went straight down to the ground and then over at a 90 degree angle. Um, I'm taking the 90 degree elbow and we'll connect it there. So it goes at a 90 degree angle to the middle of the IBC tote. Hopefully that works. Anyways, um, so we picked up this fella at Home Depot a couple days ago. It's a lemongrass plant. Um, supposedly these grasses can be used to make tea. Um, and I had a lemongrass tea when I was in the Philippines like six years ago, and it was amazing. So, I had high hopes for that plant. I moved out all of the seedlings... Um, I've been like putting them out for a, an hour on last Sunday, two hours on Monday, etc. I think I'm just going to leave them all out from now on. Um, as you can see, there is my tomato plants. It's going to be a bunch of determinant tomatoes. Um, I'm hoping, like I keep my watering my tomatoes to keep them alive for the summer for a fall harvest. This year, I'm just planting determinants. I'm going to let them die during the summer, so like get a spring harvest and then plant new seeds for fall. There's some Thai chilies. These ones are basically a week old, um, and they're they're short. Um, those seeds actually came out of the chili pepper. I one of the chili peppers I used in the fried rice for potluck last week. Uh, some Laboyo chilies. These are older, but as you can see, they're still pretty tiny. Um, and those are a couple of weeks old and they, they're still short, so hopefully they pick up. Um, there's some more Thai chilies, more chili laboyo, and these really sad looking things down here are tomatoes. And then we've got a m bunch of mustard. Um, my wife had to get mustard seeds for a Sabbath school class thing at church, and I just figured, why not? Let me plant it and see what I get. Now, they are starting to put out flowers, which I wasn't expecting. I thought I was going to get a mustard tree out of this. So, well, the experiment continues. Go, oh, all of the buckets um, that I previously had stuff growing in, hold that up and through the, through the soil over in that raised bed over there and that one. So I'll run the tiller and mix that in later. The onions that we planted here for greens, obviously we haven't harvested them enough. And then over in this bed, I've got the onions continuing to grow from last fall's planting. I think these went down around November. And they're starting to bulb up. I mean, you can see that one. It's bulbing. What I did notice in here, put in the weeds, is right there is a hole in the ground. The camera will focus. So something is living in here, and whatever is living in here ate the greens off that onion. So, I don't know quite what to do about that. I think I'm just going to dump a bunch of water in the hole and see what happens. And then here, my yellow onions aren't bulbing up as much. But they are... I mean, they're getting bigger. They're just not forming bulbs. So. 
over here, this is bok choy, a couple weeks old that my wife planted. Good. What's in that side of the... Okay, that side is soluyote, and I don't see anything substantial that's coming up here. Once again, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what the difference between those plants are and a weed, so we're going to wait for them to get big before pulling anything out. There's also some stuff planted in that raised bed, but I have no idea what it is. Over here, I put down beans yesterday. Um, so this has three rows, like, running down the length of the bed. A uh, bush lake, or, see, blue lake bush beans. So hopefully, we can, they're going to turn in mostly into green beans, not like pintos. But hopefully it'll come up. Um, eventually I want to get, like, pinto beans going in here in quantity. But for now, we're just going to settle with that because I had an empty raised bed. Come over here. Oh, that's my neighbor's dog. But um, the calamansi tree is alive. It survived the winter. It's putting on new growth. Kind of pretty. It actually, looks down right. So overall, pretty good day in the garden. Hopefully, this video actually will upload properly. The charred plant from last year is still growing, um, but it's getting some bug pressure. If you look in there, the leaves are a little bug bit. I've still got so much dehydrated chard from last year, though. I don't know what I'm going to do. So that's it for now. If you're in my area, this is uh, zone now zone 9A. Um, it's probably a good time to breathe do transplants from Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you get your transplants. If you're in one of those inferior other states, you know, anywhere outside of Texas, it might be a good time to start seeds.